Hello everybody! Hi! Am I actually in the camera this time? Kind of. Okay. So, welcome. This is a full moon in Pisces reading for 2019. This is a general reading for everybody, regardless of your sun sign or anything else. This is a general reading. And... Yeah, I'm just about to get started with um, the cards. I know it's a little bit of a weird setup, angle-wise and whatever. I'm just trying it out. Um, I have with me the Oracle of the Mermaids deck, because Pisces is a water sign, and I felt pulled to use that deck. I'm also using the Navigators of the Mystic Sea deck, which is what I'm shuffling right now. The Zodiac deck, as always. Um, the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards and the Secret Language of Color cards. Let's see what comes up for us. Okay. Three goddesses here. So we have Mother Mary, expect a miracle. We have some of these I just still don't know how to pronounce. So I'm just going to um, say what's underneath here. The medicine woman. Perhaps if you know how to pronounce it or you want to look up the pronunciation more about the goddess, go for it. Medicine woman. And then we also have blossoming. With the goddesses. We have um, Eight of Pentacles showing up, right side up economy and we have the five of wands showing up reverse contention so um that's good it's better to have that card showing up reversed <laughs> than direct i mean it's more pleasant usually zodiac cards okay so we have neptune the ruling planet of pisces showing up and we have the moon showing up reverse, and we have air showing up right side up. Zodiac deck. <clears throat> Pisces, full moon, 2019, general for everybody. <clears throat> Cherry, live an extraordinary life bronze strengthen your body and plum overcome your challenges so this is really interesting to me because they're they're very similar they're very similar colors see i mean they're definitely different colors but the shades and stuff are very similar and the mermaids kind of like this you know, what do you guys think i kind of like this because we get a a view of all the cards at once. This long table. Farewell to the moon. That's interesting because we had the moon reversed. Um, time out. And freedom. Independence, self determination. Okay. Let me start off with the zodiac cards. I'm going to read out of the booklet for them here. Oh, we don't have the reverse card. Let me get a clarifier then. Clarify that five of wands reverse, please. Eight of cups, seclusion. Okay. So let's take a look at these first. I'll turn them so you can actually look at them. This is the five of wands, Oop, glare. So that showed up reverse, clarified by the eight of cups. And then we had another eight on the table, the eight of pentacles. If I can get the glare off, there we go. I do really like this deck and the images on it. I don't use it all that often, but I, I do like the images and working with them. 
So we have Eight of Cups. I'm going to start out with. Okay, that reads. We tend to make excuses for our behavior, particularly when we are unhappy but powerless to make a change. Yet you can change and start <clears throat> putting your life together by applying self-discipline. The reason you make excuses is because you are afraid you won't succeed. Realize your self-worth using your innate determination. I do think this is a bit of a theme because here we have the moon reversed. And when the moon comes up right side up, it tends to talk about um, a period of time, a phase where we're kind of going inward and maybe feeling a little bit moody, a little bit sensitive, um, processing and integrating emotions and needing space to do that. Okay, it can be a, a sensitive time, right? Where I said before, being a little bit moody um, it tends to be sort of you know seclusion we tend to seclude or like withdraw sometimes with the moon but it's coming up reverse it's coming up reverse for some this may be you know being a little out of balance with cycles faster paced cycles um that virgo energy maybe some of us have gotten a little bit off track been a little too hard on herself uh, been a little bit discouraging um but I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by something outside my window. Give me just a moment. <clears throat> okay. So we have that moon card showing up reverse. We have this eight of cups. That five of wands reversed, coming out of a sort of icky energy with that five of wands, right? And then we have overcome your challenges, plum. So <clears throat> you can work with this color, use it in your visualizations, um, incorporate it into your wardrobe, just however you feel um, motivated to do so. And it can help you vibrate to this energy, this frequency where you're um, better able to overcome your challenges, right? So we're going to look up the Eight of Pentacles in a moment. But I wanted to piece together this here, okay? Bronze, strengthen your body. So another one. For some that might be, you know, on the physical level. I mean, for everybody, it is saying strengthen your body as a suggestion to, to do that. And that can be connected in with some of your challenges, even if it doesn't seem like it, even if this, it seems like it's something in your external world going on, or it seems like it's a mental or emotional thing, it very well can be connected in with your body. And um, <clears throat> doing things to make your body healthier, to strengthen it, um, exercise, actual like lifting weights maybe for some people building muscles it can it can correlate and flow over and really improve other aspects of your life as well it can help with your mental health it, health it can help with your emotional health and then it can also you know help in the external what you're seeing reflected back from externals in your life so that's really i think an important key and factor here um that is coming up to strengthen your body and to it helps you build confidence too and feel better and put yourself in a frequency where you're more receptive to your intuition right and better able to see how to overcome your challenges coming out of a funk i'm definitely getting the energy of coming out of funks moving forward coming out of periods of like seclusion isolation and overcoming some of these challenges. It says also <clears throat> that you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. That Virgo new moon that happened, the last new moon, was a super new moon. It was one of the closest to Earth. Um, it may have been the closest to Earth this year. 
and as a super new moon it was a major reset button okay so we have that we have the autumn equinox it's definitely an energy of new beginnings avoid feeling like you have to have everything done all at once um, that's where that patience and persistence comes in. You want to keep keep going, keep the momentum going, keep doing healthy things for yourself, keep working through your challenges for sure, but at the same time, applying l uh, compassion. That's a Piscinian thing, you know, compassion for yourself and for this towards the situation. Have patience and persistence with it. Um, expect a miracle came up too, Mother Mary. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Faith can be really important and helpful. Okay, and the cards are saying you have reason to. You have reason to have faith. You have reason to expect a miracle. Um, <clears throat> you have reason to expect good things to come into your life and positive outcomes. Okay, we also have healing energy here medicine woman you are a channel for divine healing power here we start getting into spiritual things neptunian things being a healer being um maybe an artist spirituality coming in with neptune and this medicine woman card we had that eight of pentacles i don't want to overlook let me get into the book for that now eight of pentacles where are you Okay, that reads, money is only a tool, a link in the chain between effort and sustenance. To sustain, it must be saved. To gain, it must be used as a living sculpture of one's will. You will make good decisions regarding investments. This is a positive card. Um, <clears throat> a positive card referring to money and finance. Things are looking up. Things are, are going well. And... The cards on the table in this full moon are encouraging you to build your confidence and strengthen your faith about that because as you do that, you increase the potential, your earning potential, your saving potential, um, your investment potential. You increase your financial abundance potential through doing that. So go for it. Doubt, fear, um, feeling, you know, that negativity, it's only going to bring you down. Okay, there's really no, um, no room for it. There's no reason, room, or place for it. I mean, listening to your intuition is one thing. You know what I mean? Not pulling sheep, like, not pulling the wool over your eyes. Listening to intuition is totally different than just being negative and fearful and full of um, doubts. You have Neptune showing up, and it's showing up right side up. If it showed up reversed indicating a blockage or imbalance then I would be talking and warning about the possibility of doing just that being really fearful letting your fears get the best of you being full of self-doubt um, having illusions and misunderstandings being prominent but it didn't it showed up right side up indicating that's in your favor this is about your subconscious your super conscious your psychic abilities, um, dreams, sleep, intuition, art, creation, very creative energy, compassion, imagination, imagination for sure, and um, creative visualization, being able to visualize the future you want, being able to visu visualize the abundance you want, the amount of money you want, visualize the life you want, and also you know, just inter being kind and compassionate and entertaining your inner child and seeing, you know, what kind of fantasies and, and daydreams and um, otherworldly things your inner child wants to entertain you with and explore and, and go with. You know, it, it's a safe place, safe time for that. Um, Particularly and especially if you're doing those other things, strengthening your faith, being positive, patient, persistent, strengthening your body, right? Working to overcome your challenges, opening to be a channel for divine healing for yourself. Um, so very good time for uh, creative energy and exploring the super conscious, the unconscious dreams. Great time for dream journaling. Um, if you if you're into anything like art or creative writing it's a great time for that so i would definitely recommend making some some time in your life some space and um 
embracing that this energy and uh, uh, doing some work in in those areas you have cherry live an extraordinary life so again it's like what does that mean to you what does that mean to you you have cards asking you to have faith um and expect miracles you have cards talking about dreaming it up neptune and visualizing that and you have cards about overcoming your challenges and blockages that might be you know in in the way of what this is for you right now overcoming it because you're getting closer you're getting closer you're getting there and you can elevate yourself to it and you can do it in the present moment you know like what can you do in the present moment that would be awesome? What can you do today that would make you feel like, wow, you know, this this moment, this hour is extraordinary? And these kinds of questions, these kinds of things are really um, in good harmony with this full moon energy. Then we have air. Air is about our thinking, our thoughts. Um, it's about our mind. It's about our communication, and it's about travel. So some people might be going out and doing a little bit of traveling, um, for some people, you know, this is talking about that creative visualizing, thinking positive thoughts, having a healthy mental body, strengthening your faith, you know what I mean? And also like the physical and the mental connected too. as you strengthen your body or improving your mental health. What can you do to improve your mental health to get yourself on track in healing? Where'd that healing card go? In healing and strengthening your body. It's very connected. Um... <clears throat> and for some people, this is talking about communication. Communication might be picking up, okay? Um, people might be wanting to talk to you. You might want to be wanting to talk to other people. Just might be picking up in general, messages coming in online, um, in the mail, <clears throat> in person. So a time of increased communication for some as well. And then your mermaid cards, your other two mermaid, oh, three. Here's the three mermaid cards. These are really quite lovely and beautiful. Um, not all of the mermaid cards are. Some of them are kind of challenge cards. But I really love these and the energy coming through here. We have farewell to the moon. And it says appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. We have time out, awareness, contemplation, solitude, and time alone. And we have freedom, independence, and self-determination. So I do see these all highlighted with the other cards too being brought up. But let me just mm, go through them one by one. <clears throat> so farewell to the moon. Okay, appreciate the and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. And then we have the moon reverse down here. This and we had patience, have patience and persistence somewhere else too. Okay. Um, yeah, Neptune in Pisces, it's it's a water sign. Pisces is a water sign. Um, I I do see it connected in with the dark, not like evil or anything, but like. Night and sleep, right? Because Neptune is the subconscious and the superconscious. Pisces is very much about the unconscious and the superconscious. And <clears throat> also, I mean, we've now with the well, with the summer solstice, actually, right after the summer solstice, the days started getting um, shorter and the nights started getting longer. But with the autumn equinox, that's the point where it's equal days, daylight and equal um, hours of darkness of night. And then after that, after the equinox, it becomes, it tips and the hours of darkness actually surpass and are greater than the hours of daylight in each day um <clears throat> so you know it's we're in the dark half of the year we're in the dark half of the year we're in piscinian territory which is about the subconscious the superconscious. it's a great time to get more sleep it's a great time to pay attention to your dreams again or astral travel lucid dreams when you're in between sleep and and wake 
um, being awake. And, you know, it's not a bad time to get out and do some stargazing or looking at the moon either. Um, and for those of you who are into it or are prompted to get into it, following the phases of the moon, um, following the cycles of the moon, sometimes helpful, sometimes beneficial for people, some people enjoy it. Um, and it, we do have these two moon cards here, which is really interesting. Moon, the moon also is symbolic of our emotions and our feelings. And, you know, sensitivity, the mother, motherhood, being nurturing. And, you know, it's really in harmony with Piscinian energy too, compassion, to be really good to yourself, be nurturing to yourself, take good care of yourself, your health. Um, be compassionate, patient, um, and loving, and sort of mothering to yourself first, but then other people in your life might need that energy too, and the thing is, is if you're not giving it to yourself, you're going to feel depleted and not really have it to give to others in um, a healthy way, so definitely with yourself first, then with others. This can also be referring to short short cycles, like the moon cycle, like things that happen in, in a month or things that happen within a week, things that happen on a daily basis, your daily routines and so forth. Virgo also is about that. It's about the routines. It's about um, daily habits and, and rituals and, and all of that. Um, so I do feel like that's coming up here too. And it's it's good to have healthy ones, you know, healthy habits, um, maybe there's something to that needs to get put into your schedule you know something you need to start doing on a a weekly basis or a daily basis like working out um that that would improve your life and help you have a more extraordinary life don't be afraid to ask for ask god source creator your higher self your angels whatever for um there to be room made for that and to find that uh, place for that in your life and start doing that it's a great time at, uh, this is a great time for incorporating healthy things into your schedule into your regular um, routine and, and life um, time out awareness contemplation solitude and time alone yeah definitely 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 um, you've got a lot of stuff going on. You've got things progressing, things looking up, things moving forward, overcoming challenges, moving um, in a positive direction, going after your dreams, after your goals, communication picking up for some people. With that, it's important. I definitely feel meditation just screaming from this card. It's like, meditate, meditate, put that on the schedule. Um, my guides are like, put that on schedule. Yeah, yeah, that's good for you. You'll enjoy it after a while. You'll love it. Um, you know, definitely in integrating and balancing the subconscious, the superconscious and the conscious meditation for sure. So freaking helpful. And you also have this medicine woman card. You are a channel for divine healing power, being able to get quiet um, and sit in solitude, spend time alone, be in the present moment and, and get in touch with your, your, uh, heighten your awareness. I don't know, something about awareness, being aware, being aware, you know, really that's what opens you up and allows you to channel down divine healing power for yourself and, um, and potentially others too. You might be a healer. But also meditation is really good, really great, um, very helpful for integrating stuff from the subconscious into the conscious so that it's not just spinning around, you know, or sitting in the back of your mind, but like right on the wall, sort of like on the tip of your tongue type energy in the mind causing irritations, causing blockages, things like that. It's really helpful for integrating things like this. It's also, you know, helps you move into your superpowers, use that super consciousness, um, strengthening your intuition insights, psychic abilities could be heightened right now for some people. Okay, so meditation is definitely um, coming up as advice from the mermaids too. And for 
beyond meditation or for those of you who are new to meditation or you know have a really hard time with meditation don't like it have obstacles whatever um contemplation time alone solitude awareness doing meditative things right creative expression art hiking in the woods just being in a meditative state even um beyond or even if it's not just seated meditation um, doing meditative things definitely beneficial as well and then you have freedom independence and self-determination you're going after your goals you're doing well i see progress occurring i see um opportunity potential for some people it's even beyond what they've dreamed or they believe is possible right now so the guides um <coughs> the guides are asking you to expand what you believe is possible believe in and expect miracles to occur okay um you got to do the work that's being shown here you got to do the work strengthen your body overcome your challenges you are a channel for divine healing power allow that healing in meditation take time out you definitely got to do the the work behind it but i see your independence increasing i see people becoming more self-determined right that balancing patience and persistence thing with that self-determination that's awesome that's gonna help you get places you want to be but also like getting clear about what your vision is right creative visualization getting clear about what your vision is what it means to you to live an extraordinary li extraordinary life expecting it to happen it's like one, two, three, and you're in the door. One, two, three, you're in the door. Okay, very cool. Um, so in embracing that in the present moment. So if you want more freedom, you want more independence, um, or you want to be a more determined person, self-determined person, Look at how you can do it this very moment. Look at how you can do it today. Even if you're just feeling that way for a short amount of time, get in that vibrational frequency and that's gonna really help a lot. That's part of it too. The creative visualization, actually feel it, live it, be it. You're attracting it, you're having it. Awesome reading. I love these cards. I love what came out for us. Absolutely loved it. I hope you did too love some feedback like to know if you did or not um yeah i guess that's gonna wrap it up and conclude it thanks for all your shares likes comments subscribing to my youtube channel uh, purchasing readings attending my events all of it you're awesome love you happy happy full moon in pisces i'm sending out really just like waves of really good energy um, blessings positivity positive thoughts compassion and love so till next time take care be well bye bye